So today's a big day. We are going over to visit my parents for the first time in over four months. My mum and dad are really excited. These girls are really excited. We're gonna go and see Nana and Grandy for the first time in ages. You're looking forward to it? Yeah! Have you missed them? Yeah. yeah. So this is gonna be a big thing. This has never happened before. We've never been in lockdown like this before. So I wanted to record the occasion of us meeting back up again. Not only for my YouTube channel, for you guys to, to watch, but for me as well, for me to be able to look back on in years to come and the kids to be able to look back on this video in years to come and and think, yeah, that's that's the moment. That's the moment when everyone came back together. Ready, ready? Ready. Ready. But don't worry, I will be keeping this related to my channel. And since my dad is the best gentleman I know, I thought let's get him to smell classic gentlemanly masculine colognes. Hi. Filming the uh, reunification. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. You're six now, and I've missed you too, and you're eight now. How long's it been since we last saw you then? Uh, well, it was the first week in March, so what's that? About long enough. Over Nineteen weeks. Lily asked on the way over if I remembered if I could remember the way over. It's been that long. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie, it's been a while. Good to see you. How have you been? Everyone back together again. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? What are you wearing there? Face mask. I thought it was going to say. Lockdown. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's so good to be back here. It's been way too long. And this is just a great place to come. My mum and dad live in a beautiful part of the world. They live out in the countryside. So you come here, you're surrounded by fields, get a real sense of fresh air. I mean, we're okay where we are at home. We're not too in the middle of a city, but it's nothing like here. Wow, that is wonderful. You look so beautiful in that dress. Stand on the grass and give us a twirl. Right, my dad's not home yet, so we're gonna check out his cologne collection, see how he's doing, see if he needs any help. Let me know down in the comments, how do you think my dad's doing with his frag collection? What have you just tried? Oh, ocean leather. Yeah, the new one from from Memo. Mm. Ocean leather, you like it? Absolutely gorgeous. The, the citrus smell just hits you right away. It's gorgeous. You like it? Well, if you're not leaving it here, it's going on my Christmas list. <laughs> I don't no, smell not. the ocean, I don't smell any leather, but because it's citrusy, it reminds me of being by the ocean because the Mediterranean is where you get your citrus fruits. All right, I've just got to show you this. This is pretty amazing. I didn't know it existed. My mum has just shown me this old suitcase that she brought from my nana and granddad's house a few years ago. Let's take a look inside. Oh, I love stuff like this. It's like a time capsule. I mean, God, so many old photographs. Look at this. Let's have a look inside. Oh, now I recognize this fella. This guy here on the left. That's my granddad. I have very fond memories of him. I can just imagine my granddad, old Tom, wearing some of the classic colognes that I'm going to talk with my dad about. Who's here? <laughs> hey, have we got mice? <laughs> Who is it? Granddad. Hello. Granddaddy, we were looking for old things in the garage. Well, you found it, me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's Come lovely on, to see you, isn't it, house. eh? Let's go and watch me open hey? my friends. Dad, are we going to do a video on uh, gentlemen's colognes? <laughs> if, I have to, if, I, if I have to, I will do. Thanks, Dad, for joining me for this video. You've not really been on my channel very much, so I thought it was time to get you on. I'm quite amused to be invited, yep, to share some of my... Um, expert views on yeah. not <laughs> on fragrance well i wanted to talk about these with you because the fragrances we're going to go through are what i consider to be like the classic masculine cologne style fragrance which 
means very clean, citrusy. So I've got a selection of fragrances here, and most of these, I think all of these except one, actually have cologne in the, the name of the fragrance itself. And this type of smell reminds me of you. So when I was younger, and you'd be going out to work or you'd come back from work and you'd have your suit on or if you were going out for the evening with mum and I'd smell mum's perfume and I'd smell your your cologne and it was that classic cologne type citrusy right. smell so I yeah. do associate this with you so I thought it'd be interesting to to smell some of these with you and just we're not going to go into detail, we're just going to smell them. Uh, if you want to give it a rating out of 10, feel free to do that, or we're just going to try and whittle it down to see which one of these is your, is your favourite yeah. and one that you're most right. likely to wear. Well, yeah. yeah, if truth be known, sometimes if I was on the last minute and rushing back um, from work to, for us to go out and I didn't have time for a shower, I'd just spruce up with a, a, a spray of cologne and yeah. we were off. Jobs are good. Can you remember what fragrances you were wearing at the time, you know, when I, was, when I was a child, that I might have smelled on you when you were going to work? Well, I think fragrances were only starting to become uh, popular, particularly for, uh, for men uh, around that time. And, um, uh, and there were just traditional ones like uh, Old Spice, uh, which um, I know is still around. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't remember one that Henry Cooper used to be, uh, he used to promote um, on, on TV. Um, oh, yeah, Brute. Sure. Brute. Brute, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, You'll uh, be pleased to know I, I own both Old Spice and Brute. Yeah, yeah. okay, so um, uh, that, uh, and before that, I remember my dad, your grandfather, um, they didn't have cologne, but they had uh, brill cream. Right. That uh, they uh, that he would put in his hair, which was scented, and that was scented. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that was the first um, evolution of um, yeah. you know of men's fragrance, and it's grown now to be a massive industry. Yeah, you know? it's uh, yeah. very much a big portion of the industry marketed towards towards men and channels like mine growing and yeah. more of these popping up because more people are interested. Uh, Certainly in it, not to so. be sniffed at, is it? <laughs> You might have to get used to these uh, to these dad jokes. <laughs> this is where I get it from. So yeah. we've, we've got one, two, three. The heaven uh, sent. <laughs> we've got seven to go through here. Um, so my dad's just going to have a sniff of these and just let us know what he thinks about it. Uh, just a simple like it or don't like it or yeah. whatever you want to say. And then we're going to try well, and work out which one. I don't have favorite. any uh, technical um, jargon. So no. um, it, it'll be as, a, as it is. So there you go, it's on that end. This first one is Aqua de Parma Colonia Intensa. Are you familiar with Aqua de Parma as a brand? No. So one of the f classic Italian brands, their original Colonia was uh, released in 1916, so it's been around since then. And they have a lot of flankers, including this, that are a variation on that typical classic cologne type smell. Yeah. But this brings it a little more. The original Colonia is great; it's timeless. But this, perhaps, you could argue, has a little bit more of a modern twist to it. Mm, yeah, it's got the hint to me of the, an old classic sweet, like um, an Uncle Joe's mint ball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's the citrus and spices in there, so perhaps yeah, that's giving you that that vibe. Mm, they're yeah. quite subtle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, um, it's not as powerful as I um, as I expected it would be. Okay. Yeah. But well, I like that. I prefer subtle. Right. Yeah. yeah. Not not heavy. Yeah. I don't think heavy scent or fragrance uh, yeah. suit, suits a male. Okay. All right. Well, I I quite like those type of fragrances, but I think maybe that's what you're used to. You're you're more used to that masculine, clean, yeah. subtle citrus glow yeah. type scent. Okay. Well. So there you go, on that end, this is uh, from Roger Parfums, this is Scandal. What do you think of that bottle? Nice. It's just a little too sweet for me. Yeah, okay. A little too sweet. So this really takes that cologne style and modernises it even more by adding some sweetness. I yeah. think there's some tonka bean in this, which provides this kind of, it, people describe yeah. it as like a syrupy pancake type mm. sweetness. So that's too much for you, too, is it? Too sweet. Yeah. So. No, it, it just isn't natural or to me yeah you know fragrance for me particularly as a maturer uh, gentleman I think should be understated 
um, and um, more rustic, like um, you know, natural nature scents. Okay. Um, and that that certainly you know suits suits more my style and yeah, taste. Yeah, us humans yeah. we're essentially products of nature, so it connects us with the nature yeah. that we've come from. Yeah. So I, I get that. Yeah. 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 All right. So this one is again from that same brand as the first one. This is another variation on the original Colonia. This is Aqua de Palma Colonia Ascenza. Mm. What is this, French or? It's Italian, Italian. Aqua de Palma, yeah, yeah. So when I smell Aqua de Palma, it makes me think of um, a very crisp, clean, Lots uh, of citrus Italian in gentleman. there, like, yeah. like the classic limoncello. Yeah, it is a very lemony fragrance, that one. Yeah, again, a little just a little too sickly for me. Okay, too 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 heavy. So yeah. okay, yeah. So perhaps out of this line, I don't have it actually, but you might prefer the a very original Colonia, and um, that is more subtle than these flankers, yeah. I think. <laughs> See what you think of this one. This is Quercus from Penhaligans. Now that's much more understated, much mm. much finer, subtler. There's less going on with that one as well. It's it's a more simple scent. Yeah, yeah. More like, you know, a, a natural scent as if you, I could be sniffing um, a flower in the garden. Yeah. So not overpowering um, and, uh, you know, clean and natural. Yeah, yeah. Okay, get that. So, so far, would you say that you prefer this over any of the others? I mean, you can smell them, any of them again, if you like. Prob probably the first one. Yeah. Still. Okay. Um, I have in mind as um, as the one that you like. As yeah. the one that I prefer at the moment. This is Lom Ideal Cologne. Again, that's quite appealing to me in uh, in the scent that. Yeah. Uh, again, it, it's um, it's more of a natural. Um, not, uh, not overpowering. Yeah. Um, so this is um, again heavily citrus, but this uh, this line, this is a flanker again, uh, which means it's uh, an offshoot of the original, which was Lom Ideal, uh, the EDT. Yeah. Yeah. And this has almond in, at the heart of it, so it kind of combines the creaminess of almond, a nutty almond, with citrus. So you get a creamy citrus. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so mm. I, I would say this really does take that cologne and modernise it. I think out of all of these, this that's, is the most modern smelling of them. That's not bad. Not bad. There we go. <laughs> not a bad joke. Not a bad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Lom Ideal Cologne. That's a thumbs up. Um, so GOF Trumper, have you heard of this? This is a classic kind of gentleman. It's not American, is it? No. no. Nothing, nothing to do with that, Trump. <laughs> no. Mm, I like that. Mm. Yeah. This is very classic English gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Savile Row, think yeah. Savile Row, take yeah. those things yeah. like that. Yeah. Rustic, yeah. you know, country style. Yeah. Yeah, like right. that. Like Geoff Trumper Cologne. Yeah. GFT. Where's and, that from? Uh, so the brand is Geoff Trumper and they're based in London. Oh, right. It's a London company. Okay. But this one is Eau Sauvage Parfum. And smell, smell this and, and then as you're smelling it, I'll say that you, you did mention to me that you recognised that bottle, didn't you? I did, yes, I, I, that was one of my first um, ventures into the perfume uh, or fragrance market. And it was probably one of the, the biggest selling fragrances for men, the original, so this is the Parfum version, yeah. the original one was the uh, EDT and, it, and that was, uh, came out in the 60s, so that's a very classic, probably one of yeah. the first um, yeah. real yeah. mainstream men's marketed fragrances yeah yeah again just perhaps a little too fulsome wholesome for me i think the original edt that you used to was wear was subtler it was subtler yeah. this this has added um things it's a little thicker and stickier yeah. almost yeah and there's some myrrh in this which i yeah. think is adding body That's to it. it that you perhaps don't appreciate but i don't think it's improved on the original so i think the one the ones that you liked the best That's me were just being a grumpy old man i guess well, that you're allowed to be. <laughs> no problem. Um, well, so, the ones that I would um, 
Uh, the ones that you've the indicated out, yeah. were those yeah. those two those yeah. three those are the those three yeah do you want to smell each one again and give us a final yeah so that's the aqua de palma that's probably the subtlest of all of them yeah it is nicely subtle but not so faint that it's not worth wearing it it's still it's still projecting for but me. it doesn't need to be overpowering no it's too you know you don't want it to be brashing in your face no you know, it's much more of a gen mature, gentlemanly style to be, you know, to be confident and understated. Be interested to get you to smell something like uh, Interlude Man from Amalage. That's pretty much the opposite of everything that you've just said. <laughs> well, I'm sure it wouldn't do for me. <laughs> I do like this one, but that's why I want to just remind myself yeah. of a fresher. Okay, so there's a fresh uh, spray of the Aqua de Palma. That's yeah, I've made my mind up. All right. Yeah. So out of all these, which is the winner? Which gets the the gentleman's in, approval? In, re in reverse order. OK, uh, yeah, we can do In reverse order. Yeah, sure. The number three. The Aqua first. de Palma. Yeah. 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 Flow near Intensor. Yeah. Um, a close runner up. GFT. Yeah. yeah. Um, but my favourite is the... Uh, the Lomidial yeah. Cologne. The okay, Lomidial interesting. Cologne. Yeah, this one does get a lot of love uh, from people. I think it's just, uh, it, it's got that um, nice balance of having enough kind of body and fullness to it, but without it being overpowering. Yeah. So I do like all though, I do like all of the three. Yeah. Very difficult to... Um, uh, and that's interesting because this is probably the most modern smelling. This is the one out of those three that is furthest away from that classic Cologne style, gentleman's cologne style. So you're a you're a modern man. Well, um, well, nothing wrong in that, is there? No, absolutely not. Great. Well, there we go. Hope you enjoyed uh, my dad's uh, rating of these fragrances. I thought that would be fun to do, and it's been finally great to get him properly on the channel. Yeah. Thanks well, it. it's been an absolute pleasure for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> So I'm just taking some pictures for Instagram. Whenever I come here, I love taking shots because my folks have some great space around them. They're really close to nature, they're in the countryside. So I've got really cool backdrops. I was just doing a bit of vlogging. I got caught in the act by some of my good friends who live really close by. We've got Jake and Laura. How are you doing? Hello, good thanks. Good, very well, Chris, how are you? <laughs> Jake is, uh, you might recognise Jake from uh, one of my videos before. He's the Aqua Di Gio lover, but Laura bought him a new fragrance recently. Yeah, what did you buy? Aventus. Do you know what? He started wearing it and because he has never worn anything else, for about two months, it was weird because it felt like I was going out to someone different. <laughs> and then I thought, actually, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so now I quite like it. It is very good. Yeah. Look at this oh. fragmental content. Who who knew that this was going to happen? This is like killer <laughs> fragmental content. There so many content. questions that I didn't know I had. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you, guys. Thanks for stopping. Bye, girls. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you soon, hopefully. Bye. 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 Just grabbing some takeaway. There's a restaurant up the road that do takeout. Shout out to the Toby. Many a birthday meal had here over the years. Great food. This town's so lame. Please. Please. It's 4 I'm not even tired. I'm on a seafood diet. Yeah, seafood and I eat it. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're about to leave. So I'm just reflecting on what's been an amazing 24 hours. It's been so good to see Lily and Evie reconnect with my mum and dad, just to see them running around the garden, playing, enjoying themselves, and then to get my dad on the channel as well. So it's just been a great weekend of just reconnecting with family, really appreciating family, and uh, what's better than that?
Anyone need a wee before we set off? Me. Give each other a good hug, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a nice weekend. Yes, yeah. Right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for nice Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.